the story is of a of a, a, a company um, I believe called Gravity, uh, which is ran by Dan Price. Um, he lowered his pay to bump up his employees' pay to an average of seventy thousand, and so for, um, to thank him, they bought him a Tesla, which was his favorite car. So that's him very happy and appreciative. And uh, that car is a representation of how appreciative their employees are. We have a young lady right here who's, uh, who's very happy because um, she started to go natural um, instead of you know, putting a lot of chemicals in her hair uh, and things like that. Um, and it was influenced by her husband. Uh, so this is her story about um, you know her journey of going natural and uh, uh, the benefits you know of of going that way and uh, how it you know gives you more self confidence and um, a sense of self worth. So, all right, with this story, uh, we have a uh, an Uber driver who was going to uh, the Chicago airport to pick up someone. Um, the passenger happens to be from Ukraine. He was a a business owner. Um, in Ukraine who sold his business to come to America. So anyway, um, as he was driving, um, um, the, he dropped the guy off, and the guy left his wallet. And remember, this guy comes from Ukraine. He has his, basically his life savings in his wallet. So um, the Uber driver, you know, being a good person, he, he finds a wallet in the, you know, in, the, in, the, in the back of his car, and he does some investigating work to try to find... You know, um, you know who this guy is, and he uh, retraced his steps and and went to where he dropped him off, and and kind of was searching around, and until he found his sister. So, so after he found his sister, uh, she gave him a huge hug and and asked him why he did it, and he said because you know I'm a uh, because I you know I, I I'm a believer in God and uh, and I love people. So, hats off to him. Uh, by the way, the Uber driver is the one on the right, and the passenger is the one on the left. Uh, this next one is um, uh, a teenager <clears throat> by the name of Isaiah Cooper. Uh, he's 16 years old. Um, uh, he's from Compton. He's the youngest black pilot to fly around the United States. Um, and it wasn't easy. He encountered some bad weather in Wyoming. He had to do an emergency landing, so he faced a lot of challenges. Um, but he did it. Um, so I look forward to this man to have a, a fantastic future in uh, aviation. Um, they, uh, he also has a, a GoFundMe page because um, he wants to fly around the world, be the youngest to, to fly around the world. I believe the record is a, a 19-year-old. So um, uh, hats off to him. And a correction, it's not just the youngest black uh, pilot. It's the youngest pilot, period. In this story, we have a guy named uh, Upshur um, uh, who turned a bar into a center for uh, Philadelphia's youth. youth. Um, the bar, I believe it, it was his mother's, and then he, um, you know, his mother um, gave him, you know, helped him with his mission of, of, of helping the, the young people in the city. So <clears throat> he turned it into a, into a learning center. It's called the Strawberry Mansion uh, Learning Center, which um, is basically a safe haven uh, for Philly youth. It provides computers, uh, a library and meals, and it helps them, you know, get off the streets and, um, you know, create a future for themselves. So, um, and that's pretty much it for the, for the good stories for this video. Um, um, just the reason why we're doing this is because, um, you know, there's too much bad news out there. I mean, um, there's not, a pe not enough people telling. The good news happens all the time, uh, not just nationwide, but worldwide. And there needs to be more people, you know, telling about the good things to counteract all the bad things that's being told in the world. If you would just, if you would just focus on um, the, the, the bad news that is constantly being told, um, you would have a different outlook on life, different outlook on everything. And, uh, it, you know, life just is not as happy as it can be. It's really not worth living that much uh, when, when you just um, think about bad things and just expect bad things. So... Um, you know, misery loves company. So, uh, you know, try, uh, try not to participate in that and, uh, you know, uh, share good things, share good stories so that uh, people have a, uh, a more positive and hopeful um, uh, future, basically. All right. Uh, go out. Make today a success.